Hey there, backcountry enthusiasts. Jeff Davis here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. And I want to give a current report about the snowpack here in the Southern Mountains. The snowpack has grown exponentially over the past month. I'm not very tall, but this pack is head high. Over the past few weeks, lots of snow and lots of wind have created a really strong slab in the middle of the snowpack. The thing we can't forget about this slab is that weak layers continue to persist near the ground. These weak layers developed in the early season during that drought period. Over the past few weeks, we've seen large and very large human and natural triggered avalanches. These avalanches are taking the entire snowpack and being triggered from a shallow point. So though we might not be able to affect the weak layer on this slope right here, as we get to the edges of the slope where the slab gets thinnest, we can trigger a slide that'll go to the ground. Since the beginning of February, just over 200 avalanches have been reported in the Southern Mountains. Of those avalanches, 116 have been reported as size D2, meaning large enough to injure or kill a human. Many of the avalanches observed are being triggered out of steep, rocky terrain. Long propagating fractures and remote triggers have also been observed. Weak layers in the snowpack have the potential to produce long propagating fractures even after getting very few signs of instability. You just have to find the sweet or shallow spot and you can trigger a very large avalanche that breaks well above you. This is a photo of a recent human triggered avalanche. Let's take a closer look. This was a hard slab avalanche that ran on weak layers near the ground. The aspect ranged from northwest north to northeast. The crown height ranges from 3 to 8 feet. This hard slab avalanche produced large chunks of debris that broke and flagged trees on its way down the slope. This slope was recently wind loaded by strong southwest winds and new snow over the past week. Current avalanche conditions are tricky. This was a close call and a good reminder that if you trigger a slide, it's going to go big. As stated best by a local avalanche professional in the Silverton area, recent avalanche activity makes you want to curse spontaneously and question your beliefs. Stay safe out there. We can still find great riding conditions on low angle slopes.